it going guys? Man, my first Star Wars video. So basically, it's another top 10 character video. And I'm going to be doing it the way I did it last week. So I'll come on here after I like, I have like the number and the name and then the picture of the character. And then I'll explain why I like that character. So... Let's get right into it. <laughs> the leader of the Sith and master to Count Dooku, Darth Maul, and of course Darth Vader. The Emperor is one of the biggest savages of the entire franchise and I'll explain that in a different video he was able to manipulate the Jedi Order into trusting him and although although he did fail in the end still he is definitely worthy of being on my top 10 Star Wars characters and my top 5 Star Wars villains. Sister to Luke and love interest to Han, Leia is definitely one of the most iconic characters of the franchise because while she is a princess, she is no damsel in distress. She shows that she can hold her own and she doesn't need others protecting her. Although... <sighs> Although she comes from a rich background, well, other than if you don't pay attention to the fact that she's Darth Vader's daughter, but still. Leia is not a spoiled brat like you would expect from a princess. She is the ultimate leader. She is the embodiment of good. And that's why she's at number nine on this list. I know what y'all are thinking. How could a die-hard Star Wars fan like Jar Jar Binks? Well, here's the thing. He is hilarious. Sure, he's kind of those one of those stupid, annoying characters. But at the same time, he's what makes the prequels enjoyable. Even if he doesn't get very much screen time after The Phantom Menace, but still. Jar Jar Binks is awesome. He's funny, and the way he talks, it's, it's, it's fun to mock him. And sure, he is annoying, but at the same time, that's what makes him awesome. So I don't care what y'all think. You want to think that I'm weird for liking Jar Jar Binks, then so be it. And he's awesome, so that's why he's on this list. Originally a Jedi, and originally Padawan to Yoda. Count Dooku is one of my favorite Sith Lords of all time. Played by the legendary Christopher Lee, Count Dooku is one of those villains that, even though he's the villain, you can't help but like him. And he has a his lightsaber is like bent a little bit. He's still good with, with the lightsaber. And although he does end up getting killed in Revenge of the Sith, still he's always, he's always going to be one of my favorite villains. And though Christopher Lee died in 2015, 
he'll always live on as Count Dooku in my mind. Alright, let's just all admit, we cannot separate Han and Chewie. Though Han is kind of a, a hard-headed, hard sometimes even self-centered and egotistical jerk sometimes, still. He's always there when Luke and Leia need him. He saved Luke's life in, in Empire Strikes Back. And originally, he was supposed to die in Empire Strikes Back, but... But he lived on until The Force Awakens. And his death served as Rey's... Ultimate... You know... The turning point, which helped her decide whether or not she wanted to fight Kylo Ren. That's just my opinion. But Han is definitely one of those iconic characters that you can't leave off the list. And Chewbacca, come on, he's Chewbacca. You can't not have a Star Wars list like this and not have Chewie on here. But anyway, they are the ultimate Star Wars duo and they come on this list because of how awesome they are. Now I know prob probably all of you are thinking, why isn't Luke at number one? Well, here's the thing. Luke is the most iconic character of the Star Wars franchise, except maybe Darth Vader. But here's the thing. Luke never really stuck out to me as, well, I'll, I'll get a disclaimer out of the way. I love Luke, it's just I don't like him that much. Though he is somewhat naive and somewhat like, even though he is patient, he's just like, you can tell he's just really, 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 really ambitious and really wants to prove himself in A New Hope. And of course, he accomplishes that goal in Return of the Jedi. And Luke will always be one of the greatest characters in, Star, in the Star Wars franchise. Originally the teacher of Anakin, and then to Luke. Obi-Wan is one of the greatest Jedi's in the entire franchise. And he cares much for his Padawan Anakin. Though it does kill him to fight Anakin in Revenge of the Sith, he knows that he has to. And he's not afraid to do what he has to. It's not a matter, with him it's not a matter of what you think you should do, but it's but with him, it's, you should do what you know is right. And he definitely deserves the rank of master. And he definitely deserves to be on this list at number four. One of the wisest Jedi in the entire Jedi Order. And he stands out as... The only Jedi to have a purple lightsaber. Mace Windu is definitely one of the, of the entire franchise. And like Obi-Wan, he always does what he knows is right. Well, if you don't have Yoda, at least in your top five Star Wars characters, you are not a Star Wars fan. I'm just saying. Yoda is the best Jedi. He might be old, but he can definitely fight. And he is very, very wise. 
even if his dialogue is somewhat weird and quirky, that's just what makes him more memorable. And even though he was technically defeated by the Emperor in Revenge of the Sith, he still is an honorable Jedi and one of the best there's ever been. Alright. Darth Vader is my ultimate is ultimately my favorite Star Wars character because I mean it's Darth Vader. Though I strongly dislike him as Anakin Skywalker he definitely proved himself to be the ultimate villain in A New Hope and in Empire Strikes Back. And he is definitely another character that proves that no matter how far you fall from faith, there's always a way back to the light. That's why he's number one on this list. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be back with a new video next weekend, and it'll be a Kingdom Hearts 3 news and information video, and it'll be sometime actually within the next week or so. It might be before Friday, depends. But anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.